Tony D and Little Joan, and this is a screenwriter's rant on White Man Can't Jump 2023. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So it's a remake of the same damn movie I saw in the 90s. Um, I gotta say, it looks pretty good, though. It looks pretty good. Um, basically, it's the same plot. Uh, you know it. First act, he hustles... Uh, I forget the character's name. He hustles the, the guy who used to be played by Wesley Snipes. Uh, and then he becomes his friend because they're going to enter a contest to win a hoops challenge. And then along the way, they hustle a bunch of people because he's white and they assume he can't play basketball. So the second act's them about... First act's about them uh, meeting and their various situations. The second act is them trying to raise the money so they can enter the hoops challenge. And then the third act is about the wind up to the hoops challenge. And then uh, I forget if they win it or not. But part of the deal is they're hustling. They're hustling people on the courts because he's white and they they assume he can't play basketball or that he's terrible. And uh, so it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. And um, I like the. There's a really funny bit in here with a flamethrower. It's a guy pulls out a flamethrower. He's like, "What is this, Mad Max?" Lance Reddick, one of his final movies. So I guess we'll see him for a while until he. Uh, finally catch up to the final final movie it's a shame um but it looks fine it looks fine it, it looks pretty good actually the interesting thing about this remake is the first movie in 92 with woody harrelson and wesley snipes was more about them it was more celebrity driven personality driven because they were both kind of at the peak in the 90s uh woody and and Wesley Snipes, it was really just a vehicle for them. It wasn't wasn't so much, oh, this is a cool, interesting story. It was a celebrity vehicle so Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson could be in it. Now, these guys, to me, are unknown, but uh, they seem good. They seem good in the roles. I mean, they, and they've got a lot of good banter. There's a, there's a lot of great lines in the trailer I liked. Um, I don't remember any of them from the movie because I think they updated it, so... Kudos to the screenwriters. This is uh, it's it's more story driven. Um, the dialogue's very snappy, and uh, of course, it's all about the money because they're both uh, you know struggling. And uh, I forget the exact plot, but it was very similar uh, in the original movie. They they needed the money, and it was it was kind of a hustle, and they team up because he knows you know after. After uh, the white guy scams the black guy, he realizes, like, oh, well, I should team up with this guy, and then we could scam other people, essentially. And then they want to win the big half-a-million-dollar hoops tournament uh, because they need the money. So, uh, yeah, I would totally watch this, actually. And I'm not, you know me, I hate reboots. I hate them. Hate them with a burning passion. But this one actually looks a little decent because, again, the first one, it was okay. But it was mostly just driven by, oh, there's Wesley Snipes. Oh, there's Woody Harrelson. Ah, they're going back and forth. This can't be driven by that. These guys aren't famous enough. So, it, it, and they've kicked up their writing game, I would say. I don't remember the lines from the original movie. But, again, this sounded funny. So, this is streaming on uh, May 19th on Hulu. It's a movie. White Man Can't Jump starring Sinqua Walls and Jack Harlow. Uh, and I think they're pretty good. They're pretty good together. Um, I think that's about, you know, I don't think this is a necessary reboot, by the way. Still very unnecessary. They could have just as easily made another movie. <laughs> I mean, just, these guys are good together. The guys who wrote this know what they're doing. Why, why remake a 30-year-old movie about basketball? I mean, they could have just made a different basketball movie. It's all about the IP. It's all, oh, I'm going to watch it because I remember that movie. I guess. But really, Hulu, you could have just, these guys are talented enough. I think you could have just said, oh, write us a movie about guys playing basketball on the street and it would have been fine. 
you could have done something similar. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same. It's similar. But you had to go license the rights to this, or was it just sitting in your IPs? Probably just sitting in their IP catalog, just sitting there. Oh, let's remake this. The downside of this is if this gets really big, and then they go, oh, we got to make a sequel. Uh, that I don't want to see. This is not a sequel movie. It's just not. I mean, how much of this could you watch? Maybe you could do a TV series. Initially, I thought it was a TV series because I, I had to go to the IMDB because, God forbid you tell me it's a remake of the movie, but it could be a TV series. I, I, I could see it that, you know, the two guys just hustling and getting involved in various shenanigans. Could be a fun, uh, low-key, low-criminal kind of thing. Not really criminal, but, you know, hustling. And that's what the movie's about. But I think this will be fun. I think it'll be very watchable. And uh, good job. Good job to the screenwriters, the people who cut the trailer, and the actors. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, take it. I'll be at the Gloucester City Museum today, Thursday at 6 p.m. for uh, Sorry, 6.30 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil Hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next one.